Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. We are talking 12 top Japanese denim brands. Now we're featuring the next category. This next category actually has six brands in it. They are some of the best brands that offer heritage inspired denim. Each brand has its own um, identity, has its own deep rich history and also its own little specialty within that uh, category you know we're gonna get into full count and warehouse it gets a little more tricky to find those brands and in my book i am offering places where you can buy them so use that as a reference uh, when looking for those denim brands so let's start with studio d artisan studio d artisan some of the oldest oldest brands established in 1979 they're some of the original denim companies and um, they offer some of the best features in terms of timeless classics that's what i would say they that some of the best offering timeless classics you know in my hand for example i'm holding the heritage edition it's a World War II and before heritage inspired with a, you know, singe back, <laughs> suspended button, buttons. I mean, it's rich in, 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 in just rich in, in features, you know, like you've got a hidden uh, option for your suspenders. These pocket ba ba uh, bags are just this special denim. You know, you've got salvage ID fly, proprietary hardware. This is a really beautiful denim, high-waisted, straight cut, that has that beautiful heritage vibe. So they really shine at producing incredible, classic-inspired jeans, clothing items that really sets them apart from another heritage brand like for example the hardware is so heavy in iron that you can see oxidation almost right away patination almost right away the back pocket design is instantly recognizable it's amazing absolutely amazing they offer really wide variety of cuts and styles all focused on you know giving you that classic classic heritage vibes and they really excel at it i mean studio d artisan it's a household name let me just say that you know every self-respecting uh, denim head knows about studio d artisan and undoubtedly owns some of their pieces i sure do and i sure enjoy wearing them now in terms of price range for the jeans they range from 215 dollars to 295 dollars so it's good solid value proposition and they are the best because not only they're some of the they're some of the oldest denim brands but they are denim brand that carries history that carries expertise that has a knowledge of those classics and they produce them and they produce them well. Studio D'Artisan or SDA. Beautiful. Now the other denim brand that uh, needs no introduction in Japan. In fact, it's one of the most famous brands in Japan, warehouse and company. It was founded in 1995 and their focus is producing some of the best heritage inspired classic American denim inspired jeans available on the market because they're focusing on producing heritage inspired and classic heritage American inspired denim the cuts are mostly straight cuts in fact I'm holding in my hand 900 XX this is probably the slimmest cut they have. 
and it's a straight slim cut with a hem opening at uh, of about seven inches for my size. You know, the denim itself, you know, it has that Americana, heritage Americana vibe. It's crisp, it's beautiful. You know, it's textured, that vintage feel, you immediately get that vintage vibes. Even the uh, salvage ID is, is period correct. The presentation is period correct. I mean, they do have standard features like hidden rivets. They do have standard features like proprietary hardware. Salvage ID pocket, uh, coin pocket, salvage ID for the for the ham. You can totally see their focus is not features. Their focus is denim and producing some of the most accurate, period correct denim fabrics. I love it. They fade to a beautiful classic fade, heritage fade. And I can see why they will have a cult following in Japan and the rest of the world. Warehouse denim. Warehouse denim, the price ranges from $195 to $260. And they're the, some of the best denim brands producing period correct, heritage inspired classic Americana denim. They absolutely belong in a category of top 12 Japanese denim brands. In my hand, I'm holding the full count. Full count establishes 1993. And why they are the best? Because they're the most accurate reproduction of vintage American denim. You know, yes, they offer standard features. Coin pocket salvage ID, hidden rivets, But their focus is absolutely on construction. The construction is using not only correct thread, but correct machines. They're using vintage machines to construct the uh, denim to completely uh, duplicate, replicate the stitching, completely replicate the construction technique of, of uh, heritage American denim. And they do such incredibly good job. Salvage ID with the red thread is absolutely beautiful. I'm holding the white Acru denim. But even in a white, there's so much texture. It's beautiful. It's got that heritage vibe. You know, the cuts, the cuts are stunning. There's mostly straight cuts, mostly heritage cuts. But they are um, slim and beautiful and give you that elongated feel and give you that style. The buttons are proprietary buttons. The hardware is proprietary hardware. The buttons meant to oxidize and patina. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's quintessence of heritage reproduction. In terms of... Uh, prices the prices range $225 to $239 in my book I'm referencing places where you can buy these jeans and buy them at these prices and I have included them in top 12 because not only they deserve to be included in this list but they absolutely are the best reproduction denim of America vintage denim american vintage denim the full count and the last but not the least three denim brands that um, absolutely belong in top 12 japanese denim brands and embody the heritage inspired denim 
I'm talking about Momotaro, I'm talking about TCB, I'm talking about Stevenson overalls. First of all, Momotaro. Momotaro denim is established in 2006. They are, <laughs> their, their motto is made by hand without compromise. And actually it summarizes what they do. It's so well made. It's so beautifully executed. It's such a strong style. These jeans have such a strong identity. You know, I've met uh, with other denim heads that say Momotaro, either something they absolutely love it because it has such a strong identity, the two battle stripes, they scream into your face. Or they say, I prefer their copper label that doesn't include battle stripes. In any case, there's something for everybody. If you into strong identity, you want to walk down the street, you want to see everyone, the two battle stripes representing Momotaro, representing Japan, representing the battle of fading denim. And I tell you, this denim fades to incredible high contrast, but you got to put in your time and battle it. Come on. So there's something for everyone. They offer big variety of cuts. I mean, they've got cuts upon cuts that will be for every uh, body type, ranging from wide cut to what they call tight cut. You know, this cut is one of my favorites. It's not the tightest or the slimmest. It's a straight cut with a tight upper block, and then it... Uh, goes into a straight leg. So I love it because I can put on with engineer boots. It, it has that uh, vibe I'm looking for. And uh, I just really, really enjoy it. You know, in terms of construction, all the standard features are present. Hidden rivets. Uh, these pocket bags, bags have woven Momotaro symbols. <laughs> just so incredible. Like it's oozes quality and character incredible and obviously momotaro proprietary hardware buttons rivets the peach boy right there so it has a strong story strong character stunning tells you right away it's milled in japan in okayama the denim itself you know it's around 15 ounce, 15.4 ounce. They, 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 they have a couple uh, different denims. So they, they, they don't all like focus on a variety of denim, but rather cuts. They focus on good construction and um, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, the, the value, uh, the price goes from $225 to $295. And they even produce some special editions that have silver buttons. How cool is that? Strong identity, great construction, and just a beautiful, beautiful pair of denim that speaks of Japan and just embodies that spirit of japan you know even the fact that it's there is a story behind with peach boy momotaro is a historic um lore you know speaks of this boy doing great exploits you know they they have captured that in the pink salvage id and it's just phenomenal you cannot talk about 12 top japanese denim brands without talking about Momo Tower. I love it. You know, the other denim brand that it's really special is TCB. TCB was established in 2012, so, you know, not as old as some other brands, not as old as the, uh, the, the next brand we're going to be talking about, but in a short time, they were able to achieve a cult following status. You know, in my hand, I'm holding the cat boy, this is really special, special pair of jeans. You know, that DCB is best at recreating classic Americana, classic American denim. 
And this pair is a prime example based on a, a classic pair of American jeans and the execution is phenomenal. Look at this patch. It's hairy, it's fun. It's nothing, nothing like it, it's incredible. I mean, look at the back pockets. They've got hidden, re, hidden features. Look at the tax teaching right here, right here. It's so heritage inspired. It's such a nod to the classic Americana. It's stunning, triple stitched. Look at the proprietary, proprietary buttons to this model. It actually said cat boy. The fly is just so expertly constructed. It's beautiful. The denim itself, it's tight. It's got a great, a gray weft. It fades just to such a beautiful, beautiful vintage fade. Absolutely stunning. I love it. I love it. The Savage ID has a white edging. <laughs> it's beautiful. Obviously coin pocket beautifully executed here the pocket bags really good material so the construction is there from triple stitched to bar tacks but obviously the focus here is not so much on features more of a style this uh, cinch back high-waisted very much wide vintage cut it's stunning absolutely stunning tcb it thought of uh, two cat brands or taking care of business those are two main thoughts what it means they offer some of the greatest value in fact their cuts uh, you know focused on the heritage full cuts they do have some of the slimmer cuts as well and they range from $166 to $183, representing the best value. I mean, wow, what a value they offer. They offer best value. They offer classic Americana reproduction. They offer style. And they were able just to carve out a huge market for themselves in such a short time and have a following that is... Um, faithful and and really into it and for a good reason they are definitely one of the best heritage inspired reproduction focused denim brands that offer incredible value and incredible style so the last denim brand i have included in top 12 is stevenson overalls you know, Stevenson Overalls, the company, that name, was first established in 1920. Come on, folks. And they were revived, that's a good word, in 2005. So rich, rich history that dates back to 1920. Rich history in style, rich history in production rich history in knowledge and expertise in producing some of the best heritage inspired classic americana inspired style rich features clothing i'd say this brand represents some of the best some of the best of the best historical workwear clothing you know, in my hand, I'm holding 747. The cuts range from slim straight to wide straight. Actually, the cuts are quite, uh, quite um, beautiful and, and very um, complementing and very well constructed. And even though they're full cuts, they fall just beautiful. It's very pleasing to wear them, very complimenting to wear them and strong, strong style. So the mo their cuts are historic cuts. So we're not gonna look, you're not gonna find high tapered modern cuts, but the historic cuts are really well executed and very flat flattering on, uh, on everybody 
style. The price is $319 to $361. And you know, the construction is phenomenal. I mean, look at the back pocket. Those arcs are just beautiful. These rivets on the back are on the back pockets are just incredible. Such a historic nod to some of the classic jeans that has been have been produced in times past. The patch, the patch is actually paper patch with this incredible graphic of airplane from 20s, even earlier than that. The denim is beautiful. It's got that uh, greenish hue when it fades. It's nothing like it. The, you've got your standard quality features like hidden rivets. These proprietary pocket bags are just absolutely beautiful. I want to point out this fun detail that specific to Stevenson overalls, the buttons, they, you can see they have leather washers. I, I've never seen it with any other company. This is so beautiful. You've got a rivet just holding the fly together and you can really see the, the, the patination, the green patina that is taking place is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. The sandwich ID is fun. You've got one side is green thread, the other side is white. And just as I mentioned, they fade with this greenish hue that's very specific to them. You can see the belt loops have beautiful style with a bar tack holding them with an extra sort of almost like a Z pattern. The denim is very crisp, beautiful, and immediately gives you that vintage vibes. Stevenson overalls. They definitely belong in top 12. They give one of the best, produce one of the best heritage inspired workwear in Japan. Thank you so much for watching this episode. You know, I hope that this episode paired up with my book, The Complete Guide to Buying Salvage Denim, will give you that comprehensive resource that you can use in your journey collecting denim, buying denim, wearing denim, sizing denim, and it will give you the best experience of owning Japanese denim jeans and jackets and shirts and other things. So smash that like button. And I want to thank this incredible audience for joining us today.